Hello students, this is Rupendra Soni, your VMAT mentor and today we are going to learn chapter number 5 that is understanding elementary shape. So first of all, what are the elementary shapes? These are the basic geometrical shape which we go, which becomes in the day to day life. For example, this circle is a geometrical shape that is basic or elementary. Okay, this triangle and this rectangle and in the three dimensional, this is cylinder and cube these all are elementary shape like a sphere is also an elementary shape now moving further to the introduction okay we make all in all elementary shape with the help of either we use line or we use curves for making elementary shape you can see here for making a triangle we use three lines okay for making a rectangle we used four lines okay like this similarly for making a circle we used closed curve circle is made up of closed curve okay so in this way now we organize them into line segment angle triangle polygon and circle we make like this now moving further coming to the angles so in this chapter we will learn about different different kinds of angle here we have right angle and straight angle right angle as we know is equals to 90 degree the angle which is equals to 90 degree that is called as a right angle for example this is o this is a and b okay so angle a o b is equals to 90 degree or a right angle now we know the four directions we have north south east and west okay if we will rotate if we will rotate anti clockwise if we will head towards east if we are heading toward east and east and rotating anti clockwise 90 degree direction then we will head towards north okay so this is a right angle or not yes this is a right angle similarly we will learn about a straight angle straight angle is just twice of a right angle okay a straight angle is 180 degrees okay this is twice of right angle okay right angle now how we will make right angle with the help of directions if we will, if we will heads toward for example this if we are heading towards east and we are rotating 180 degree anti clockwise or we can also rotate clockwise so we are which direction we will head we will head west direction and this will be our 180 degree angle or a straight angle okay now moving further okay now we will make a we will learn about complete angle complete angle is turning a straight angle two times okay turning by straight uh, turning straight angle by two times for example our straight angle was 180 degrees okay if we will turn two straight angle we will get to multiply multiply 180 that is 360 degrees okay so here complete angle is equals to the twice of twice of straight angle Now, just a simple example from our household that is a clock. A clock, this is 12, okay. If a needle is heading towards 12, uh, striking 12 o'clock and started rotating, a needle started rotating like this, like this and takes a complete rotation, completes a uh, rotation. Uh, complete uh, then comes again to the 12 then it will make a 360 angle 360 degree angle or we can say the complete angle okay this is the example of complete angle now coming to the acute angle acute angle is just less than 90 degrees an angle which is less than 90 degree it is called as acute angle for example let us take 60 degree okay less than 90 degree any angle less than 90 degree that is then acute angle okay now obtuse angle obtuse angles are greater than 90 degree angle these are 
obtuse angle this is greater than 90 degree or not this is 90 uh, this is greater than 90 okay this is an obtuse angle okay now or we can say the an angle larger than right angle but less than a straight angle it should be less than a straight angle okay it should not be 180 degree it's called an obtuse angle for example we when we read a book by opening it 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 makes a obtuse angle okay by the way we can also make acute angle with the help of book and right angle also now earlier we have learned angles now we are learning the triangles based on sides we we have the classification of triangles so first we are classifying the triangles on the basis of sides first of all we have scalene triangle scalene triangles are the triangles having three unequal sides okay this is an scalene triangle having three unequal side okay no none of the side is equal to each other now coming to the isosceles triangle isosceles triangle is a triangle having two equal sides this two equal sides are the sides of an isosceles triangle okay this is an isosceles triangle we have two equal sides this one and this one and this is the third one is an equal side okay these two are equal sides now moving to the next type of triangle that is equilateral triangle equilateral triangle is a triangle having three equal sides all sides are equal okay having three equal sides is called an equilateral triangle and can you guess how much will be the angle of each angle of the equilateral equilateral triangle it will be 60 degree each angle of an equilateral triangle will be 60 degrees okay now moving further naming triangle based on angles now first of all we have an acute angle triangle acute angle triangle means what triangle which have an acute angles means having less than uh, less than 90 degree each angle is less than 90 degree then the triangle is called as an acute angle okay this is an acute angle triangle now second type of triangle is obtuse angle triangle okay if one angle of a triangle is right angle or 90 degrees then it is called as right angle triangle here this angle is 90 degree okay this is called as right angle triangle now obtuse angle triangle if any uh, any one of the angle of an of a triangle is greater than 90 degree then it is called as obtuse triangle here we have example of obtuse triangle okay this angle is greater than 90 degree okay you can also make obtuse triangle triangle like this this is greater than 90 degree okay now moving further now coming to the polygons so polygon is a geometrical shape it is just uh, a, reg, a closed figure having more than two sides okay for example triangle is a polygon having three sides okay this this and this this is a polygon yes okay now this is next is quadrilateral having four sides it's it is also called polygon pentagon having five sides hexagon having six sides and so on we can look towards the example of this polygon okay this is a triangle having three sides this is the pentagon having five sides poly means more than two okay uh, this quadrilateral having four sides okay o this hexagon having six sides this heptagon hept means seven heptagon is having seven sides octagon is having eight sides so all these are the kinds of polygons polygon okay moving further now earlier we have learned the two dimensional shapes now we are learning three dimensional shapes these all are two dimensional shapes we can only extend this shapes to two dimension x dimension and y dimension okay here but in the three dimensional shape we can extend any of the figure to the three dimension okay let i make the dimensions this is x dimension this is let us take y and this is z dimension okay so this is called as three dimensional shape 
so have you seen the ball or football any ball so which kind of shape is that football football is a spherical shape this is sphere uh, it is not clearly mentioned here but a sphere is a three dimensional shape i am giving you the example like football you can imagine okay now three dimensional shape having uh, for example having a face edges and vertices for example we have three dimensional shape which is having face edges and vertices are cuboid and cube okay these are are called as three dimensional figure here let us know what is face i am giving you example with the help of a cube cuboid i have here see this is a box okay this is a cubical box or you can say cuboidal box cuboidal box so this is called as face this is called as face okay and with the help of two face for example this one face one face and this is second face when these two faces are joined they make an edge this is an edge okay you can see here as we can see this is an edge make made up of two faces this one this is one this is second face now and this is face top face which i have told you earlier now joining three edges at a single point it will give you a vertices it will give you a vertices this is called as vertex okay so you can see here this is a vertex made up of three edges uh, major made up of joining three edges it is a point and this is a line segment made up of joining two faces this is called as edge okay so in this way we will going to learn all this geometrical shapes you know, all the elementary shapes in this chapter this is the introductory uh, introductory video this will be helping you in the solving all the questions Thank you and have a nice day.